Thank you so much, Catherine. Now it's time to talk financial tips, and this is a shock to me because apparently you can learn a lot from your friends' Facebook posts when it comes to financial information. Joining us here on the Arizona Daily Mix is Eric Palmer. He's a financial educator with Outlook Advisors. Good morning to you. Good morning. Glad to be here. Well, I'm glad that you're here because when I got this information, I was thinking to myself, I never even thought about looking for financial tips on Facebook from my friends' posts, but you can learn a lot. So where do you even begin to look in your news feed? Well, for the most part, you're not even searching for it. Your friends are posting it, mm -hmm. so it's just feeding you on a regular basis. And with ads as well, that's starting to become pretty prevalent on Facebook. Right. A lot of those are just popping into your feed. So when you're looking at your timeline, mm -hmm. uh, you're reading about your weekend or what your friends are up to, a lot of times there's a lot of financial information that's slipped in there. And then are there like keywords that you should look out for, especially if you're looking for something specific to help you with a financial? You know, it, it depends. It could be investment. It could be mm -hmm. money. Um, a lot of times we find that it's savings because quite oh. often the in information that we're finding on Facebook is about how to save more money, mm -hmm. whether it's for a holiday, for travel, or something like your house. Now, when you do see something, are all the links good to click on? Because sometimes people post stuff that are like phony stories. Right. So how do you differentiate the real from the bad? Well, the big one is make sure it's somebody that you know and trust already because okay. those links are typically okay. But, you know, I've got to advise everybody, be careful what you click on, yeah. no matter where the source is, because a lot of times your friends could be sharing something that they got somewhere else and they don't know whether or not it's a trustworthy link. Now, you were saying that last year there was a big story on Facebook that was trending um, about... Um, saving money and it was from two sisters tell me a little bit about this story yeah it was a holiday thing about uh, buying Christmas presents and they're trying to be more efficient and and show different ways to purchase presents mm -hmm. take care of your family member but do it on a budget so they're talking about uh, what to, to buy for somebody whether it's something they want something they need uh, something to wear or something to read and it trended over a million likes on Facebook in a very short period of time so it influenced wow. a lot of the ways that people were buying gifts for their their friends and family over the holidays and you see right now a lot of Millennials buying houses getting into you know the financial market and right. understanding it more so than the, maybe the generation before them or the generation after them right. so when you see this stuff on here a lot of the friends are like hey wait a minute my credit isn't all that bad if I see so-and-so who's maybe 20 something buying a house start following their information because maybe you too could keep up with the Joneses so to speak exactly right? there was some really interesting research that was done not too long ago NYU and Harvard partnered together and they found that just over three percent of home purchases were influenced by something a friend or a family member on Facebook and if you think about the millions and millions of people on Facebook just in the US alone that's a pretty big number, 3%. So to think that someone could buy a home or think about buying a home because their friends have done it, mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty interesting statistic. It is interesting. And, you know, that's another thing. You know, you never think of all the good things you can get from your friend's Facebook feed because right. sometimes <laughs> you've got cat videos and right. you've got crazy things happening over the weekend. But every once in a while, there's some good information in there that could be beneficial down the road for you. Absolutely. It could be the referral, too. That's mm -hmm. the big one. You know, a lot, not, a lot of times we don't know who, who to turn to for a financial advisor. Absolutely. Someone to buy the mortgage from or a good realtor so again pay attention for the referrals as well that could be a great way to get information of who to talk to on the professional side of things mm -hmm. uh, when you want to start purchasing a, purchasing a home or saving for retirement and you also see people putting out questions they'll ask a question I'm looking for this or does anybody know and a lot of times you get other people chiming in so you should read those comments because people will post links or just information hey I went to this person they were fantastic they might be able to help you out and that's another avenue to get more info absolutely and read all the different posts but mm -hmm. don't take them all uh, for a hundred percent face value Absolutely. again do your homework do your research but it could be a great place to start and it can also point you in the right direction when you're doing research about a financial purchase or any sort of decision all right Eric we got 30 seconds before we wrap up tell everybody a little bit about your organization Outlook Advisors sure Outlook Advisors we are a holistic advisory firm which means we do everything from life insurance to financial planning for retirement mm -hmm. and we're very much into the digital age so we believe that we can meet our clients face to face or if it's comfortable for them we can do it over the phone or over the internet very good information thank you so much for being here don't go anywhere because when we come back we have got more fashion for you on this makeover